Like many gay couples in Hollywood, Anthony Sullivan and Richard Adams live together openly. What makes this couple unique, however, is the fact that Sullivan and Adams are married, legally joined in a 1975 civil ceremony in Colorado at a time when same-sex marriages attracted nationwide attention. But because he's an Australian citizen, Sullivan has run afoul of the Immigration Service, which refuses to recognize the Colorado marriage license and therefore grant him permanent resident alien status. So now the couple has filed suit in federal district court in Los Angeles, and a forthcoming decision may change the whole legal concept of marriage. Initially, the position was that there could never be a valid marriage between two men because uh, almost by, by definition, there must be a uh, female role in a marriage. It's, uh, there is no such thing today. Fertilization service are now final, and our only recourse basically says Extended to gay people. Marriage is uh, very much. You know, that's really actually uh, the three. Uh, we <laughs> spent the last two days talking about. But really, what are the limitations of a formal marriage? If two people. To discuss this in some depth, if we simply. Sullivan and Adams expect a fairly swift decision at the district court level but they expect the case to be appealed regardless of that decision. Once we started to work to be able to remain together, uh, we then realized that indeed our struggle has implications for the whole community, uh, for all people, gay and non-gay, because there are a large number of, also, of heterosexuals also who, because they're not married, uh, can't get married for a variety of reasons, who also are excluded like we are. It will no doubt be several years before the courts make their final decision, and when they do, the impact will extend far beyond these two people. In Hollywood, this is Mike Botula reporting for Channel 5 News Watch. ...of a lawsuit in federal court in Los Angeles challenging the decision of the Immigration and Naturalization Service to deny... I, Tony Sullivan status as the spouse of an American citizen, Richard Adams. Uh, Tony and Richard were married in Boulder, Colorado in 1975 pursuant to a marriage license that was issued by the county clerk of Boulder, Colorado. Uh, their marriage is lawful under Colorado law, in my opinion. There have been no uh, court decisions in Colorado challenging this marriage or any other same-sex marriage in Colorado. The Immigration Service, however, has refused to accept the validity of the marriage. And actually, they've taken uh, different positions in the course of the uh, uh, administrative proceeding, female functions. Uh, we pointed out that uh, in the case of uh, a woman who is not fertile, uh, uh, obsolete, that Tony and Richard are legally married under the laws of Colorado, that uh, that is all that is required in order to obtain status as the spouse of an American citizen. And beyond that, and more fundamentally, uh, it is a, a denial, we say, of the equal protection of the laws guaranteed by the Constitution of the United States to deny to gay people the benefits of the institution of marriage. And, uh, whether or not we happen to think as individuals that there is 
a little bit of value, a lot of value, uh, or no value at all to the institution of marriage. Nonetheless, there are uh, benefits, there are rights and obligations that flow from that institution, and we think they ought to be available equally to everybody, uh, homosexual or heterosexual. That's why the lawsuit. Uh, Tony and Richard have each pre prepared. When dealing with the concept of anti-gay discrimination, is that many people do not realize that we gay people are capable of having loving relationships which are equally meaningful to us as those relationships that exist between non-gay people. The refusal to extend the benefits of legal marriage to gay people is a major act of anti-gay discrimination. If it were not for this, Richard and I would ha not have to spend these years struggling to be allowed to remain together. The issue of legal marriage is one issue that must be dealt with by gay and non-gay society if we are to establish complete equality between our two communities. <clears throat> you see is involving the, all of the gay community. Other people are in a similar situation. Initially, we started out on our own personal struggle. We wanted to be together. Um, it was for ourselves initially. He will now be deported for that danger? The danger of deportation uh, has in the past been very strong. In fact, there was an attempt to have a deportation hearing to deport me. At the moment, it's my belief that when there is this case is pending that I have protection under the laws of the United States. Now, there, there is no deportation proceeding pending. Uh, against Tony at this time, and it, it's my belief also that the Immigration Service will wait uh, until this lawsuit is decided to uh, proceed any further. Now, you said the, uh, the Attorney General of Colorado. His informal ruling, it wasn't even that, it was a, a letter to a state legislator, uh, and it was not directed in particular at this marriage, but at the question of same-sex marriages in general. But without any other court ruling or formal legal opinion, doesn't that stand as the, uh, as the legal definition or the legal feeling about that particular same-sex marriage? Curiously, the law is very clear in Colorado and in almost all of the states to the contrary, that the opinion, even a formal opinion, of a state attorney general does not have the force of law and would have uh, no impact at all in a judicial proceeding. So you're and that, that's clear in Colorado as well as elsewhere. So you're asking the courts now to, to make, that make that finding one way or the other in, in your action? Yes, we're asking the court uh, either to say that this uh, was a lawful marriage under Colorado law and therefore has to be the proper basis for uh, changing immigration status, or uh, if they're not willing to, to say that, then we have to get to the question of uh, is there a violation of the federal guarantee of equal protection of the laws involved in this situation? Uh, obviously, that, that issue has tremendous ramifications uh, way beyond just the field of immigration. Uh, I don't know whether the courts are, are ready to, to tackle that problem. Uh, 